Hey guys, today I got something a bit different compared to my usual speed build videos. This is a challenge that Mustard Players came up with, where I and 4 other creators will have to build a map about a theme that is randomly chosen in a time frame of about 4 hours. The creators that will be participating are me, Shride, Immature Gamer, Stormhawk and Mustard Players, whose channels will all be linked in the description where you can go check out their videos on this build. Now the theme we got for this map are the Pyramids of Egypt, and I can't wait to show you what we came up with. So with all that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Before we started working on the project, we had to come up with a plan first. After a bit of brainstorming, we came up with a few ideas, such as having flying saucers help build the pyramids, having a llama statue instead of the sphinx, and having a giant UFO at the center of the pyramid. I mainly got these ideas from the movie Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull where you can see a giant flying saucer coming out of a pyramid. To start this build, we first mapped out where the different structures would go. I would be in charge of making the main pyramid with the flying saucer in it. Stormhawk would build a llama statue. Mustard Plays and Shride would be in charge of creating the surrounding landscape. An immature gamer would design the mechanics of the map. Firstly, I'm going to guide you through how Stormhawk built the llama statue. To start, he created the main shape of the llama out of these large stone blocks, making sure the proportions were correct before adding any detail to it. Storm is absolutely amazing at sculpting, and these are some of his builds that you are seeing here. Once he'd finished this, he started shaping the front of the llama. The loot llama prop was an amazing reference as he started adding a ton of detail to it, using his amazing patience to make sure the llama's head was an exact copy. To completely finish off the statue, he created the back and middle section of it by rotating the same prop and copying the segment around it. Now I'll be going through how I built the main pyramid at the centre of this map. Using the wooden square I made at the start as a template, I traced around it with the same stone blocks that Storm used in his statue. Once one row had been completed, I copied it to each of the other sides. I added some more detail to the saucer shaped UFO by rotating some of the props I found in the Dusty Depot gallery. Then I started adding some of the smoother faces at the base of the pyramid, making it look like they were slowly building up every layer. To make this pyramid a little more interesting, I decided to create these ramps leading up to it, where the workers would haul the stones up. At the base of the ramp I also built a small quarry. These figures were then added to simulate the workers pulling the stones up the ramp. To completely finish off the pyramid, I also wanted to create some smaller UFOs hovering above it, and a wooden crane moving the stones to the correct position. Like I said at the start of the video, Shride Muster players were responsible for the surrounding landscape of the map. They started off by creating this medium sized pyramid, which just looks absolutely amazing. They used a smaller stone prop to achieve this texture, and then copied it to each of the other sides. Once this was done, they then duplicated the whole thing to the other side of the map. To add some variation to the landscape, they also built these smaller pyramids to complement the larger ones. And then Shride started working on creating an oasis at one corner of the map, with plants and trees growing there. Finally, they tied the whole map together by covering it with the sand tile then surrounding the area with mountains, and then dotting plants and trees around the map. Immature Gamer was in charge of creating the mechanics for this map. He's absolutely crazy with this kind of stuff, so if you want to learn more about how to design games in Fortnite Creative, please do go and take a look at his channel. After looking at the map in detail, he decided that this map would be good for a box fight in Zone Wars game mode. To accommodate this, we had to create a separate area for the box fight part on top of one of the mountains and add player spawns at the oasis part of the map for the Zone Wars game mode. With all that complete, we just about managed to finish the map in the 4 hour time frame. That finishes up this video guys, leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know in the comments if we should do another 4 hour challenge. Also make sure to check out all the other creators in this video, they have all done their own videos on how we built this map, their channel links will be in the description. That's it for me, see you in the next video.